I feel like I should be making way more Hot Topic jokes. Hey everyone, Jeremy here. Today I am about to watch episode 3 of The Sandman. Uh, this is a series where I've said it before, I'll say it again, I did not know what to expect exactly going in, and right now I've been loving it. This has been right up my alley with all the supernatural elements, but the massive, massive lore behind it. I just love it. And I know we got a name drop for a certain Constantine showing up this episode, or presumably this episode. So that has me excited. I also wasn't really expecting it to jump to present day as fast as it did. So I'm really kind of curious on what the you know real world, as they put it, looks like right now too with these dreams and nightmares running around. as soon as you got your text. This really is the Constantine I know, or Constantine. That's Astra. You're safer in here with your father. Oh, wow. Constantine. Oh, 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 wow. Immediately. We have business, you and I. Get in line, bruv. Can't keep God waiting. Did you marry him? Kevin Brody. Kevin Brody, the footballer. He's rubbish. He's fit, though. <laughs> just because a goldsmith <laughs> educated princess wants to not marry that. some naff winger does not, not mean. That. Can we at least jog her first? Get her drunk. Tie her up a little bit. She's British royalty. I love that shit. Any other ideas? <laughs> yeah. <coughs> <laughs> Sorry, I've been fasting. <laughs> da Is he the one that's possessed? <laughs> Sorry, during our wedding. <laughs> the demon's been enchanting her while possessing him. <laughs> Oh, no. You're right about the demon, wrong about the host. Fucking hell. Get her out of here. <laughs> Come, on, Come on. When there are far more enjoyable ways to make you stop. His name is Agalaeth. I'm flattered you remember me. Lord Morpheus. <laughs> he is. Though I confess, I almost didn't recognize you. Agala, I command you! This attack was Zuma's dominate. Dream of the Elders commands you! Off. Run along and fuck off back to hell. <laughs> Oi, Rick! Who do I invoice for this? Church of England or Buckingham Palace? How does this approach generally work for you? You just turn up and order people about. <laughs> is that not your way, then? Tell me your name. It's uh, Matthew, sir. <laughs> Patton. Matthew. We shouldn't give away a jewel when we could use it to dream of a world without the Sandman. Uh. We could start again. What? That is not the direction I expected this to go. I'm back. <laughs> yes. In spite of my telling you to leave. Look, let me at least help you find this woman. If she's asleep, we've probably got five or six hours before she's on the move again. If she is asleep, then I know exactly where to find her. Yeah. Okay, I, I knew the Astra storyline, but not, did not expect that. I told you I fixed it. The only reason those people got hurt the last time was... People didn't get hurt, John. People died. I was defending myself, and now I can use it to defend you. I've got this. It's you I'm trying to save. 
What can I do to make you believe me? Do you have any idea how much she probably hates me right now? Do you have any ex-girlfriends? Um, I will not wait long. Well, you won't have to. She's gonna slam the door in my face like I'm about to do with you. Right now. My crush on Jenna Coleman is not lessening with her as Constantine. Human beings cannot be trusted. No. If I were Joanna Constantine, but then I wasn't the best person when I was a person. Can all be Jessamy, who is apparently perfect in every way. <laughs> no, I get that you don't think you need a raven. Whatever they're doing up there, they're not thinking about you. Hmm. That's... Yeah, fairly accurate, I was gonna say. <laughs> but they all told me to just get over you. Because you're selfish. Ruthless. Coward. Who ruins everything she touches. Wait. Joe? Such a wonderful dream. She found the sand. We can't help her. The sand was the only thing keeping her alive. But you want your sand back so that you can save all of humanity? Well, here she is! But we're all just Roderick Burgess to you. All you care about is your sand. That's no, put it back on. Awful. What did you do to her? Okay, what kind of hospital actually carries a gun into Why a patient? You just let me go. Okay, I'm going with this is a prison hospital, not a regular hospital. He didn't kill people, evidently. matters to me is that you get to where you're going. Thank you. Thank you. Man. Hear me out. You could take me with you and you'll never have to have this conversation ever again. <laughs> that does sound tempting. Where are we going? Hell. Hell. A as in Hell? Hell? Or, or were you being metaphorical? He will not be in favor of hell going. <laughs> but I don't get a sense of your listening, so fuck it. Let's go to hell. Okay, so I got used to the new Constantine, Constantine, however you want to say it, very quickly. Oh my, yeah, yeah, I always had a bit of a crush on Jenna Coleman and Doctor Who and her as Constantine. That did not change. They did such a great introduction to her too. They, they showed what she does for a living. They, they gave us her brash demeanor. They showed us why. That is a great, great introduction to a character. Even if it's a character I already know, for people who don't know Constantine, Constantine, that's a great introduction that, that that really brought us through the meat of the character and let us to get to know her even the stuff with her ex-girlfriend who was trapped by the sand that was heartbreaking that was so tough to watch because when the reveal came i i, I figured it out like two seconds before it happened once once dream showed up and he pulled her out of that basically hallucination it was dreaming but it was 
was standing up, basically standing and dreaming. If Constantine is in it, or Constantine is in a dream, somebody has to be doing the dreaming. That was rough. Six months, six months since she saw her ex and she had found the sand. Now, we don't know if it was exactly that night. It could have been two or three months ago. But yeah, the sand was keeping her alive the entire time. <sighs> Switching from Joanne to John, that was a pivot I wasn't expecting. I did not expect him to go super villain on us, but he sure as heck did. I, I thought he was going to be the voice of reason talking his mother down. And it was the other way around. I did not expect that in the least. I really thought that he was going to be <laughs> the, the thing stopping her throughout this series. And it's absolutely not. Absolutely not. He now has a protection spell and he's going after the ruby. And he wants to remake the world without dream in it. Uh, that could cause some issues. And what's crazy is you can see why he is the way he is growing up the way he did with his mother constantly lying to him, as he pointed out, with all these different boyfriends and significant others, partners throughout his life. A very long life, I'm imagining, because, I mean, he's whatever age he is at this point. And... I gotta imagine that some of that may have been extended even, because I'm thinking back that he was born in the 30s, I think. So, it's like a hundred years later, so his life's been extended a bit too, I think. But at any rate, he didn't have a normal childhood. He didn't have the best upbringing. And even though I think I do think Ethel tried. I do think Ethel tried. I'm not going to throw her completely under the bus. I, I think she was trying, but well... He's his father's son in a way, I guess. All right, and then there's Matthew. The MVP of the episode, Matthew. I love the Raven. Even if a part of me sits here and thinks that maybe there might be a heel turn, he might actually turn out to be a villain or something, or he's spying for someone else. Who knows? I, I, I don't care right now because he's great he is making me laugh consistently he has the best last line in any series <laughs> f it let's go to hell fantastic fantastic Patton oswald that that's why you hire him that is why you hire him that, that was terrific all right on to the next episode we're going to hell i cannot wait words again i did not expect to say today <laughs> but until then what did you think of this episode were you expecting that of Constantine's ex? Did, did you call it a little bit beforehand like I did? Were you expecting the heel turn? Some of you have read the books. Some of you haven't like me. Did you expect the heel turn? Is there something in here that just fits the books so well? Is Joanne working for you? Whatever your thoughts, leave them in the comments below. If you enjoyed this video, please hit like and subscribe. Helps the channel out immensely. And it just lets me grow this little community of ours a bit more and add another little positive corner to the internet. All right. And before I go, as always, please take care of yourselves and please take care of each other. Thank you so much for watching. Bye-bye.